Welcome to my channel, Dare to Duet. Today we are playing Moana, so get your sheet music in the description below, print it out, and let's make some music. Just a quick side note before we get started, welcome to Maryland. We have record numbers of cicadas this year, and they are everywhere and super, super loud. So um, enjoy the accompaniment, and yeah, let's get started. One, two, ready.
welcome to Tips and Tricks from Moana, and we are talking about three things today. Rhythm, style, and strange looking words that I wrote in the music. So, let's do it. We are talking about rhythm in measures three and four. I think the rhythm here feels a little bit strange, so let's clear it up. Whenever you have a rhythm that is unfamiliar or you're not exactly sure what to do, I always recommend subdividing. In this case, we're going to subdivide with eighth notes, but don't just subdivide in your head. Actually subdivide with your instrument. So tongue every subdivision or bow every subdivision. So we're going to try that with a metronome now, set at 120, which is a little bit slower than usual. And let's hear how that sounds. Once you've got the hang of that, then you can go back to playing still with a metronome, but without that subdivision. Now let's talk about style. So Moana is quite a free spirit, and we need to express that in this piece. Everything needs to sound like you're about to go on an adventure, because she is. So really convey that adventurous, excited, spirited feeling. An important part to note in regards to style is that animato section. Animato means lively and spirited, and it signals that you should change your style in that section. In the actual Moana music, the beginning is mainly just Moana singing. At the animato section, though, strings come in, and you really start to get that adventurous feel. That's a really, really important style change, so make sure you make it. The last thing I wanted to mention is the opt V. And what that means is optional down the octave. When I arrange this music, I could choose between higher notes than I usually like to include or bad key signatures. So I chose high notes, but for clarinetists and oboists out there, if you want to take that part down the octave because it's uncomfortable for you, feel free. If you're playing flute or violin, these should be pretty normal notes for you and you don't need to take it down the octave, but I just wanted to give oboes and clarinets that option. Alright, that's a wrap on today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know what else you'd like to see in the comments, and I will see you again soon. Happy practicing!